Kyle from Ask the Pool Guy here. Recently we had a customer come to us and was looking for an interesting pool project. They have a, a bit of a challenging yard where everything needed to be elevated. Everything they wanted a waterfall with a slide and instead of having the waterfall sticking out so far above grade, we opted for this. And here's a, a basically a clay model of that the, the pool project as it lays out. We have an upper area here. This is our normal finish area for the pool, which is roughly four feet above the original grade in the yard. And to work the slope, if we had raised the whole yard this far, all the way up, this waterfall would have been six feet above the pool area, which again, behind it would have dropped off 10 feet. It wouldn't have looked natural at all. So instead what we did was we created a two-tiered pool. It's basically a negative edge pool, although we're not using the negative edge feature that you normally would uh, expect with the infinity edge. Instead what we're doing is we're using that lower pool here to be the catch basin for the people coming down the slide. So we can still have a decent waterfall, three, three and a half feet tall above the pool here that won't look like it's too too high out of the ground. And then uh, at the same token, use that structure then to create the slide down to the lower pool here, which is roughly four feet down. Uh, one of the other features they talked about doing they'd seen in some of our work before was a swim up bar. And so again, this is just a mock up, a general idea of what it would look like. And again, we're using the grade to our advantage retaining off the side a set of steps down back to that original grade and that will be our walk-in to get into the bar from the outside bar, bar stools stools. on the inside of the pool to be able to sit there in the water and still be in the uh, uh, at the bar so anyway that's this is some of the stuff that we do when we have a project that's a little more challenging to see three-dimensionally is we'll build a clay model there's all kinds of programs out there to do this 3d on the computer and that type of thing but I'm more organic in what I do and I'd rather see it in three dimensions and do a lot of hand drawings and stuff. And So this just gives us a, a real quick mock-up as to what a project will look like and it helps people visualize what it is.